My low's back is gonna be trouble. Hey yo, hey yo, my low's back. <laughs> she hates the camera. She knows. She knows. Okay. We're back. We just made a video and now we're back again. We're gonna go over right now with you padding because as I've seen from my students from the last month, there's a huge difference with what pads you decide to buy. This isn't like buying lotion or bathing suits off of Amazon. Um, we're talking about longevity of gear and the utmost protection for you so I recommend staying away from the cheapest and I'm just gonna go over a couple with you uh, not too many um, but first things first um, 187 pads 187 killer pads with knee pads buy the best brand. This is thick. This whole section right here is really nice and thick. I mean, you'll have the top riders in the world wearing these pads. This is the pad you go to because you honestly just don't feel anything when you drop down to your knees. Uh, it's the ultimate confidence. So when you're beginning or if you're learning new tricks, um, 187 Killer Pads, really nice brand. This is a junior knee. You'll see with the knee pads, this protruding bump right here, it goes on the top of your knee. You would slide this baby on that way. A lot of the times I see beginners um, putting it upside down, uh, which isn't the end of the world, but it's gonna be a lot more comfortable if you get if you get it right. If you get it right. For my friends, my uh, homies that are already in the game skating that don't need to depend on the hard shell pads, um, I'm gonna recommend, and I get a lot of questions actually on my knee pads, um, this brand Shadow Conspiracy. I believe um, it's a BMX brand, but they make the slimmest pads. And this one, it looks like a volleyball knee pad. Uh, it has one layer of hard shell inside. So as you're not gonna get the same comfortability of impact with these, I mean, you don't feel anything with these. You definitely feel stuff with these. It still gives you a little bit of a confidence boost to um, up your tricks um, to send things with a little bit of protection. Um, and these fit right under your pants. They're super thin. Um, and there's a shell in there. So uh, Shadow Conspiracy. They have a few different uh, models that are super sick. So go and check them out. I've also noticed teaching students um wrist guards are kind of tricky and i'm just gonna go quickly over how you put this on so it's gonna come all wrapped up like this uh -huh. this part right here is the part that's gonna save you from breaking your wrist that's your guard so that goes on the palm of your hand so you'd stick your thumb through the guard, wrap around the Velcro, and put it on like that, right? Um, when you have them on correctly, you're gonna make that cool clapping noise. You can make some cool beats, whatever you want. So 
enough. So I just wanted to go over how you put the wrist guard on correctly because honestly, um, for beginners, like, how would you know what to do? You know, um, it's not obvious. I see a lot of people for the first time coming with them on upside down. So the, the guard is up here um, <clears throat> and that's not gonna protect you. Triple eight helmet, really good brand. I bounce back and forth from Protec to Triple Eight. Okay, last, last thing. These are super sick if you're starting out. It doesn't matter if you're just cruising on the boardwalk through the city or in the skate park. It's called a bum saver. This one's made by Triple Eight, the same as the helmet that I just showed you and um, they go on like shorts protecting every inch of your bum it's super thin you just slip it on you would slip your jeans right over that oh, I'm looking fabulous Honestly, you could just slip your jeans over this and go out on the weekend, you know what I mean? Um, these are excellent. Talk about really wanting to have an accessible foam pit or resi ramp, you know, to learn new flips or spins or just cool things. Check me out now. I basically have a foam pit attached to me. That's sick. And that's what you want especially to progress um so yeah bum savers good idea i recommend help help and um cool if i missed anything ask in the comments below any questions next we're going to move to the concrete and we are going to teach you how to stop a couple stops that you can use and um get you closer into that skate park baby into shredding baby. There's a whole new you right around the corner baby. And I'm excited to be there with you along the way supporting you because you got this. I got this, you got this. All right, one love, one huge love. Light, love, trust. Talk to you guys later. See y'all next time. <laughs> okay, bye.